Hi all, I have always been a super fan of Michael Adams. I think he has a fantastically relaxed positional style of play. In fact, a lot of his style of play reminds me of Alpha Zero, hence the title of this video. Uh, I think he's like the British Alpha Zero. Uh, basically, British chess is like full of hack attackers, a bit like me, uh, and we have a lot of club leagues. Uh, we have very fierce leagues, and often uh, it's often tactics and, and hack attacks which decide a lot of games on the British scene. Adams has always been, Michael Adams has always been like a positional guru. Uh, he doesn't necessarily know the most opening theory. He's always been able to navigate his way generally. Uh, in variations and he's known to be a specialist against the French defense with the Tarash in particular but um, his middle game to me is really positional and let's have a look at this game from the 2019 British Chess Championship against the rank 10 in the country at the moment Stephen Gordon a strong grandmaster so e4 for Michael Adams c5 so a fighting spirits from Stephen Gordon Sicilian defense knight f3 d6 and now a fun killer move bishop b5 check so it's more positional in nature and as we know from the recent like Leela and alpha zero games it seems the more positional the opening the better uh, they do uh, i think positional players generally need calmer openings to really celebrate the power of positional play which revolves often around pawn structure which is the most committal kind of aspect of decision making in chess pawns don't go backwards so we have knight d7. If bishop d7, this volunteers the light square bishop exchange. And in a way, that's a big strategic goal accomplished if white perhaps wants to play even like a move like c4 perhaps at some point. Uh, or just quietly play for c3 and then d4. That's another way of playing it. Um, so anyway, we have knight d7. And now you might think this is a curious move. But... Um, White wants some flexibility and plays bishop a4 without being prompted with a6. And in fact, one of, one of the perks of this is if black now plays a6, white can play c4 to stop b5. So bishop a4 without prompting has some method in, in the madness. Moving a piece twice uh, is, is quite justifiable here. So for example, if castling also the bishop just you know, gets trapped as well so bishop a4 knight gf6 and white just castles so already a kind of positional gambit as well actually this it's not as if black's losing the knight immediately if this is taken you might wonder well, what is this this didn't happen but uh i suspect this is dangerous for black for example like this and crashing through if knight takes e5 <laughs> this kind of carnage could occur and that's end of game so Black maybe wanted to avoid that. So a6, c4. And we have now a really committal decision, e5. And as I say, pawns don't go backwards. And I'll bet you, if you're a Leela or an Alpha Zero fan, if you saw this structure, you'd probably think, if the neural network's playing white, somehow they're going to celebrate this d5. This is definitely a type 1 sort of very committal decision type two you know you can reverse but type one irreversible decision how does white actually uh do something with this one thing we do know uh from the games of the neural networks when a bishop of a certain color is exchanged off for a knight often often it's the other color which is uh much stronger uh so can this bishop strategically exchange off uh, at some point uh, or even just get rid of this this guy because this is a kind of guardian of the light square so that might echo with the d5 later uh, now in this position for those theoretically interested g6 might be a little bit more flexible uh, there was a key high level game nakamura against vachia Ma Va maxim vachia le grave played in zagreb 2019 which ended in a draw actually in 43 moves uh, so that had more flexibility to Black's pawn structure. If we just look at that pawn structure for a moment here. Well, it was a wild game after. But there wasn't any major structural defect anyway. Uh, so e5, though, was played here. d3. g6. Uh, perhaps, I mean, bishop e7 doesn't look that glamorous, but maybe it's it, it should be considered as well. White does have a small edge, but maybe Black's a little bit more solid other than game continuation so g6 
knight c3, bishop g7, and now rook. <coughs> Pardon me. <coughs> rook b1, black castles, and now h3, knight e8, and now b4, opening up that queen side, trying to open up that queen side. So it's very interesting. It, it reminds me a bit this Botvinnik style, Botvinnik. Uh, in the English, but you'd have a Fianchetto bishop here. So is there a great benefit of the bishop being out and about rather than Fianchettoed? Uh, so what can it actually do there? Let's see, c takes, we have rook takes b4. Of course it threatens to take out a knight, which could weaken black on the corresponding dark squares, where the knight could have, for example, established itself on c5. So the knight actually goes to c5 here, and we see knight d5 not minding the bishop been taken b5 pretty tactical move uh, now here actually c takes b was played if uh, knight takes a4 was played queen takes this position white has a nice edge here actually and one of the big problems is if knight f6 then white is ready to perhaps play this to get rid of one of the knights to cement a nice knight later uh, another more concrete problem is immediately c takes as well might be threatened so anyway um b5 was played c takes bishop d7 and here is where the magic of the game really uh, starts and it makes a deep impression on me this game so this is a key game last round of the british chess championship if adams can win he, he can win the whole british chess championship basically with half a point by half a point so he plays actually a really interesting positional decision. Can you guess if I give you five seconds starting from now? Okay. B6. Yeah, this really likes to exchange off. Uh, basically it says to exchange off the light square bishop would, would leave D5 stronger in theory. More cemented there on D5. Alternatives, I mean, it's quite a rosy position, actually. There are actually alternatives, uh, for example, bishop g5 and this, but they're not as good. It still ends up with an edge in these other alternatives, but this is by far the most dramatic and the most incisive, it seems. Knight takes a4, rook takes. And when I say incisive, I also mean, actually, the most kind of holistic as well, actually, most positional based on the knight on d5. So giving up. Uh, an exchange but look at that mighty knight look at that mighty past pawn so there's huge compensation here and not only that this other knight is able to improve itself as well with this maneuver we see f6 so for example if knight f6 then we can just aim to exchange off the dark square bishop to put more pressure on the light squares generally and this will be huge for white as well huge knight huge past pawn that would be great. Uh, and it's only one pawn extra for white, but still, it's really great. Uh, so f6, knight d2, rook f7, knight c4. It's an absolute iron grip on the position. You can basically say it doesn't matter how resourceful black is. It looks as though black really is contained here with minimal counterplay. It's stopped being, you know, about... Uh, being resourceful here uh, basically the, sh the counterplay is being shut down queen takes down yeah what did what else is black doing so he just offers this queen exchange it's taken bishop e3 f5 f3 just giving the bishop f2 keeping an iron grip on the position bishop f6 we have rook b1 bishop d8 now knight a5 so the knight can support b7 sometimes or knight c6 in fact here it goes to c6 and then goes back and then here now another really crushing positional move so what is really wrong with black's position here apart from not being able to do anything uh, can you see a potential viable target for white and what move would kind of fix that target uh, so ideally we want a fixed target because a moving target is in practice more difficult the practicality of a moving target <laughs> the overhead of, of trying to keep track of where it's going but if you fix a the target there is a potential fixed target here now 
Uh, so five seconds white to play. A4, the fixed target could be A6 if we fix it with A5. And it doesn't, it can't even move anyway because <laughs> we can just take it anyway. But it's about to be fixed. So A5, and the cruel thing is Knight B4 to take A6 soon. After Knight F6, Knight DB4 on move 30. Black resigned. If the game had continued here, for example, say Black plays F4. Bishop tucks on f2, tucks away. Uh, white could get two connected past pawns basically by taking out a6. Uh, these are worth their weight in gold, these two connected past pawns. Um, black didn't really want to suffer this style of position where they just crash through. So b7 is going to be crashing through, winning a ton more material soon. First that rook, then probably the other rook after. It will be absolutely crushing the two connected post pawns basically. So Black didn't really wait for that to happen from here and just resigned instead. I just thought what an alpha zero style game. I don't know if you'll agree with me. I just thought Adams throughout his career, I've seen his positional chess, the way he's tamed people, destroying their counterplay, playing positionally, calmly, gliding the pieces, uh, just squashing counterplay. He's been uh, a tower of strength, uh, a super grandmaster for a large number of years now. And he can play games like this, which seem super, super smooth, as Morris Ashley might describe. <laughs> super smooth. OK, what do you think of this game? If you enjoyed it as much as me and you want to play me or other YouTubers, check out that bit.ly link. Uh, so with this game, yeah, he won the British Championship. Congratulations to Adams for winning the British Championship 2019. I might go over some of his other games. Uh, soon so yeah the bitly link yeah check out the bitly link as well uh, you can play me or other youtubers so that's two capital y small v small a five capital m capital b or check the link in the description uh, so i'm playing quite a few people from youtube etc and that's a lot of fun as well so uh yeah brits chess championship uh another victory for adams this year okay thanks very much